See if you can get a washout beneath 125 right here to maybe set up another one of those bounce plays. That would just be short term, though. The bigger picture is that Netflix is a little bit exhausted. Lost, lost some of her momentum that she had, but hey, when you go from 113 to 129 in a day and a half, that's to be expected, right? So I want to go along Netflix here. Well, not right here, but on this move down that it's making. Kind of versus 124 is for a pop back above 125. I'm bidding $2.81 on a 124 strike call. Bidding $2.81 on a 124 strike call. I want it to come below 125 right here. Ideally, fill that bid and then trade versus kind of 124. Might not be coming below 125 though. I only want to play this on a 125 break. I'm being more cautious. If you want to be more aggressive, I do think you could play it right here, right now versus 125 as it looks like it might not be going below 125 but I've got my setup and my setup is to go long on 124 so that's the only way I'm going to get in right here if she doesn't want to let me in that's fine Yeah, so it doesn't look like it's breaking beneath 25. Canceling that bid. You know, I really wanted it to break right there. Now you've bounced, you know, 90 cents. And just psychologically for me, again, it's just a little bit different. Because now if you come below 125, that's after all these people just came in for a bounce. And now it's a little disheartening for them. If it just keeps flushing and flushing, I like it more. I... I don't know how to explain it necessarily, but little things like that make a difference. It's just a feel for it. You know, when you watch it every day, you, you come to see these things. And it's counterintuitive, right? Stock makes new lows, filling the gap. Why would you go, be going long? Well, because it's dropped three points over the last 15 minutes. One thing that makes things easier to think about that I didn't understand for a long time is how does a stock make a low a day? You know, how does a stock make a new 52-week low? How does it make a new one-month low? How does it make all these lows? Well, because somebody's buying at the low, and then, you know, it doesn't go beneath that low. So it sounds simple when you put it like that. You want to try buying at lows. So when I see Netflix making new lows beneath 125 after it's, you know, already come down, I like stepping in on that because I say, all right, well, maybe this can end up being the low of the day or at least the low for the next 15, 20 minutes. Meanwhile, Google is on highs, 676s. Apple is on highs. 11660s those are the two clean moves that I'm seeing right now Priceline and Netflix are active but they're not extremely clean
so Netflix still just kind of churning. Apple doing a good job. Kind of shoulda, woulda, coulda for me on Apple. You know, the, the easy long trade on Apple is gone. It was a very active first hour of the day for Apple. And Priceline as well. I mean, Priceline gave you fucking 70 points worth of range there. And sometimes what happens is you get an extremely active hour. It ends up kind of taking away from the rest of the day. It's like a quarterback throws four touchdowns in the first quarter. It's then kind of like, all right, well, how many more touchdowns can he throw? Technically, he's on pace to throw 16 touchdowns in the game, but we know that that just never happens. Kind of works the same way with trading. So with that said, you know, I'm feeling pretty cautious. Continue to commentate, but got my one good trade. That's all I need. Can always make more, can always make less. But I've got Tesla tomorrow. So still think there'll be more opportunities. So here's Netflix again coming back down to 125. And now I'll just talk a little bit about why I'm not buying this move into the 124s. And it might work, but I'm I don't have a bid in here. And the reason is is because now psychologically it's coming back to 125 too too quickly. That's why I wanted it to flush when it had the chance five minutes ago. Because now you bounced a dollar from 125 to 126, the one that you know I had the bid in but didn't play it. But now you're right back down to 125 five, ten minutes later. So everybody who tried to step in and thought they were getting the bottom, now they wonder, okay, maybe I'm not getting the bottom. And now that makes people like me not step in, you know, and who knows if I'm right or wrong, but that's just a little insight into why I'm not buying this. It's just coming back down a little too quickly. Timing's extremely important with these with these quick trades that I try and time the bottoms on. And again, maybe this is a great opportunity right here versus 125. You still haven't broken it. But if it is, I'll learn to maybe have a different view.